Get the pin! Get the pin! Get the Your pin! Ah! Push him away. Push him away. Go away. Go away. That's it. That way. Off you go. Off you pop. Bye bye! Hello everybody and welcome back to Wilson's Heart and to the Hydrotherapy Ward. We've just made it through the Armies of Darkness, or the Army of Shadows I guess you could say. And now we're off to see what other supernatural entities kind of haunt this weird prison that we're in. Hints of perhaps some... some tentacly creatures? Some... some Krakens? Cthulhu-y type things? Maybe Eldritch Demons? That'd be pretty cool to see. Quick note on the stabilization before we begin as well. So in the last episode I did a 360 which meant that the stabilization broke down. And when it breaks down it ends up being a million times worse than what it would be if I had no stabilization. Which is a, a big shame, and I'm kind of annoyed at myself for doing that. So, as a kind of last test of the stabilization feature, because it is kind of like a new thing to my channel, if it breaks down during this episode, then I'm going to get rid of it for the rest of this series, because this game, quite frankly, deserves better than, than the shakiness that, that the stabilization provides. So, fingers crossed that it all's going to be well now. I've kind of like cemented my feet to the floor in such a way that if I do a 360, I'm going to know about it. But, yeah. Here's hoping. Here's hoping. So let's carry on. Weird. Is that like a woman at the end? When I first looked at it, it looked like a like a Christmas turkey or a vulture type thing. Oh, there's hey. another set of staircases. Anyone down here? So interestingly, we abandoned the people that we kind of came here with uh, when we first got here. There was the the two guys, the girl, and then like the little girl. And they all looked kind of like evil, sort of horror characters of the mo the, their own. So, you know, very weird that we just kind of left them. But the darkness gave us no choice, realistically. Uh, RMA? Is this someone's cell? Hello? Oh! <gasps> well! Welcome to Detay's Evil Entity. What was that? That was like a Jekyll and Hyde type thing. Let's just close that, shall we? Can we go in? No. Good. Good. Very good. So we'll have to head back to the power box then. Danger, high voltage. Ah, oh, it'll be fine. We'll just get hands in there. Oh, everything will be fine. Bingo. What did that do? Uh, we turned on this, but most of the hydrotherapy wall- oh no, it's all lit now. Awesome. Let's go see what's over here. Oh, another radio. Yes, please. Let's get the music started. Crank that volume up. Oh, it's around here somewhere. It must have been a nightmare to try and get this right back in the day. I bet it was always slightly staticky. I bet you had that one grandparent that would come over and twist it like 0.2 to the left. And then the and then the wife would come in and be like, nah, 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 definitely to the to the right a bit more. But it was a constant battle. I can already imagine it. Is that a baby? Hello, my perfect family. Hello, dear. Hiya, Pop. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. Everyone doing on this fine day? We have some Oh boy! Kitten. <laughs> wow. It's another terrible comedy. All right, let's let's have some background music while we read the next comic. Good stuff. Oh, spooky chair. Yeah, here we go. Gamma Ray Gabe is back in the uh, in the second comic, but for now we are reading a real case of charity. Bum bum bum. Let's go. Previously, a man was sat in his chair who was actually in bed. Who was actually, he, oh, he was sleeping, it looked like he's in a suit. And then he got some hideous illness and turned into death, and then he actually died. Our friend Jimmy had learned of his fellow caretaker's complex racket of slithering his way into the fading lives of the Westgate Gardens Convalescent Center. What does that, what does that even mean? A special solution could make the victim, who had a very recent change in beneficiary, seem to have slipped into the comforts of a popular chair for the last time. Todd was able to cash in after the helpless had checked out. So, Jimmy confronted this self-appointed reaper and now is living in fear for his mother, the newest resident. Todd may not realise the consequences of using one chair as the sacrificial altar atop his pyramid scheme of death. Absolutely no idea what's going on in this comic. <laughs> lots of words that make no sense. It was none of your business, and now you're in trouble. Todd, I'll forget I saw anything. I won't tell anyone. Please, just 
don't do anything to my mum. Is that Todd? If you get in my way, Jimmy, the worst will happen. You need to be like everyone else, besides me, in this deal. A ghost. Okay. Oh, so Jimmy's this guy. No, no, okay, so Todd's this guy, Jimmy's this guy. Todd and Jimmy. Todd and Jimmy, everybody. Jim wasn't sure if he could trust that Todd was going to just take him and then his mum out of the picture. <laughs> Todd had a lot to lose and it clearly wasn't a problem for him to get rid of Jim. It was just a matter of who struck first. Dun, dun, dun. So this is like Death Note, but for a chair. Is that, is that what's happening? Oh, man. We're hungry, Jimmy. Feed me. Jimbo and Bo Jim. Man, Whoa! Suck. Get him in this chair. This does suck, I'll be honest. Probably one of the worst comics we've read so far. Later. Hey, Todd man. Looking tired. Wanna take a break and sit down? Shut up, Jim. Give me a key so I can lock up. Uh, I'll leave him on the green chair. Bum, bum, bum. I'll leave him on the green chair. Gonna go get more bleach from the closet. You'll what? Thanks for not handing them to me, jackass. I don't know why I hired him. Now that he knows too much, I've got to get rid of him. For good. You were right, Todd. The worst will happen. Ah! <laughs> the chair ate him. Bum, bum, bum. Yep. I'm just going to take it as death note, but for a chair. Death chair. Doesn't quite have the same ring to it. So why is it taking us here? Just have a look around, I guess. Uh-huh. The left path or the right path. In the darkness, I thought this was all water. Because it was the hydrotherapy lab. I thought it was just connected to the sewers or something disgusting like that. Let's go right. Looks like right probably has an office with keys that we'll need. But, you know, lots to do in this area, that's for sure. Uh, combination lock for this one. And a pair of gloves. So we can go up to the monster and just... Tch -tch -tch. Slap him about a bit. Oh, another one of these. Oh, God. Hello! Nothing there. You just expect someone to be hiding just on the other end here. You poke your hand in, the hand comes up, and it's like, ah! They grab you through. Never trust a mad cell. Life's little lessons. I'm probably going here, though. Oh, come on, this door's gonna work. Doors in this game are quite difficult. There we go. Easy peasy. What do we have here? Good question. Let's turn it on and see. Oh, is it like a power supply? Well, we just maxed it out. Convulsor... Convulsinator Mark IV. Oh, it's got a lever. That does nothing. Oh, and the other one. Where am I taking it? Uh, <laughs> I guess we just have it now. Can I put it back down? Yeah, we can just... Alright. We'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. You never know. These puzzles, we have to we have to know all of the information before we can kind of get the bigger picture of what's going on. Chisel. Could come in handy. It could, as we all know. Robert knows a lot more about this world than we do. Gary, you need to pull the tub plug. Something is wrong with the water. Will. Ooh. And we got the combo code, five three eight four one. October twenty sixth. So that is today, I believe, or at least the day that time froze still. If it has frozen still, sometimes the clocks go manically round as if time is rushing forwards. Sometimes they barely go round as if time has stopped. Hard to tell sometimes. Did we, did we miss this door? Let's have another look. We did. This guy had a wheelchair. No creepy big dude though, so that's always a good sign. Um, and another locked door. Can't say I'm too sad about that. All right, before we go over there, let's let's try this combination code. Maybe we'll get everything we need. Thank you. So it's left five, right three. So it's left five. Ah, oh, the little pins come up. That's cool. Right three. Oh, does that mean I have to go to three? Yeah. Then left eight. Then right four. And then left one. There we go. Awesome! That was pretty fun, actually. 
There you go. I've got a future job cracking codes, cracking safes. Only in virtual reality, and when they give me a document that can help me out, because, you know, God, God forbid I'd be able to do it on my own. These are like high-grade rubber gloves. Although they're kind of like stiff. <laughs> like really stiff. I don't really want to know what's been happening to that. They definitely need a wash. Pretty cool that all the tools have an imprint. It's more like dust marks rather than like them actually being painted on there. Alright, well, we got the gloves. I'm sure it all will be apparent slightly later on. Uh, yep, the vat of acid. Good stuff. Here's the gloves we need. Ah. <laughs> Thank you, game. Apparently putting them on is not my strong point. I just... Ah! That's better. Hey, and we can, like, pull the plug. Come on. So that is a vat of acid or something. All right. Hey, and we get a key as well. Ooh! Whoa! I knew the tentacles would appear eventually! Get it! I've been dragged! What's happening? Whoa! Uh, uh, a chisel? Oh! Stab it! Stab it! Stab it! As if I was trying to file it, are you kidding me? Stab it! Stab it! Where did these come from? Oh, from the sides. Get out of here, you nasty kraken. We gotta go. We gotta go! What happened to the key? God, the clues were all there. Yeah, this is the key we need. We knew that the... The, the pictures, they gave us all the clues. Maybe don't call out to the darkness like that, Robert. That's not a good shout. Jesus, look at it. It's literally like the end of the Pirates of the Caribbean 3 movie. So where did the document go flying? It must be close. I can't have gone too far. Let's have a look. We're coming back. Don't try any funny business. God, that is pretty cool though, I must admit. <laughs> Damn, that is one big fish. Oh, the power pack. Maybe we take the power pack with us. Fish don't like power. Especially not wet things. Yeah. Oh yeah, here we go. How would you like about 15 billion volts? Catch this! <laughs> oh no, don't blow up! Don't blow up! Don't blow up! Ah! Oh, it's gonna pop! Oh, you bastard, you're gonna know what a hot bath is. That's toasty. That is toasty. He kind of shriveled up like a... <laughs> I don't know. Like a little pruny grape thing. Yucky. Nice. There's the second page of our diagram. Yeah, matches in quite perfectly. Forge the virtual page. Oh. Maybe this will give me another ability or something. Ah. That was creepy. Yeah, here, here something's happening. Whoa! Transformers! Hearts in disguise. I bet that felt good, Robert. Whatever the hell that was. Damn. Right, we need to find the key. Ah. Fell into the sink. Ah, and this must be what we've just unlocked. This helps. Turn the top of the device to reveal this idol. Throw the device at a target by releasing the grip or trigger buttons. Control the direction in air by moving your hand. Catch the returning device or it will retreat into your chest, leaving you momentarily winded. Throw again or return the device to your chest. So is it like telekinesis? Weird. Can we pick up the soap? Definitely don't want to drop it, that's for sure. Not in this hospital. God knows what you get attacked by. You get one of these, come via. Alright, the key should take a... What do I do? What do I do? Whoa, zombies! Uh, so we turn the device, and then it goes into like a special mode. Whoa, they join together! And then we throw it. Which idol do I need? This one! Throw it! I missed. I missed. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back! Come back! Ah! Something tells me that didn't go very well. So we turn the device gives us the idle head that we need, this one, and then we throw it towards them. Oh, we can control it with our hand. Oh, that's pretty cool. Come back, come back. Oh. So it returned to our chest, but we got momentarily winded. And we throw it out and we control it. It's like, it's like, 
the guy from Guardians of the Galaxy is like, like Pen, Yondu, right? Whoa. Come back. Oh, I love that. This is the best thing ever. I want Wilson's heart. Ready? Yeah. Oh, 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 miss, miss. Ow, ow. You gotta give me a second, zombie. It's gonna be a second. That's all right, you know, no one becomes an expert at their craft in a day. It takes time to master the arts of telekinesis heart throwing. Wah! Then we bring it towards us. Oh, I love that. God, it's quite, it's quite nice to control, I'll admit. Oh, it just, it, once you get the hang of it, it's, it feels so good. God, and you get like severe heart palpitations every time it leaves your chest, though. That might feel a bit weird. God, there's loads of them. Who, who did this? Who decided this was a thing? No! This is difficult. What do I do? This is difficult. Let's try with the left hand, you know? I'm actually, I'm stronger with my left. I'm a lefty, so... Maybe you just have to use the right hand, you know? The one that controls everything with a bit more precision. The stronger of the two. Amplified with a pair of a supernatural heart. Equals giant rolling ball of death. I like that we can affect some of the terrain as well, like break some of these buckets. Oh, I shouldn't be doing that though. Come back. Oh, so if we hit a wall, it can come back to us. Like that. That's a quick way of getting it back, I like that. Alright, a couple more. I've never, ever, ever in my life come across piggyback zombies before, look at those. It's like the forest. They, 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 they eat each other and become one. That's a really cool concept for zombies. Look at that. No, like, no matter how they land, they just like get up and start, start moving in whatever position they happen to land in. Weird. Effigy That's zombies. <sighs> and we're clear. Left hand did the trick, for sure. That was great. I feel good. Busting zombies with the heart feels great. Let's just hope we don't have to deal with that giant chungus that came by earlier. So this Although, is what the inside of one of these rooms looks like. Yeah, I always thought they were smaller, the white padded rooms. I thought they were padded for the reason that you you couldn't hurt yourself. So it kind of defeats the object when you've got a patch of bricks right next to them. Try the wood? Uh huh. Am I not strong enough for this? No. Need a crowbar. Or similar. Do you want to go in the cell? Or I suppose we're leaving the cell, so it's not too bad. Ah. Oh. Shit. Oh, great. The game's messing with us again. Whoa, what? We, oh, sorry. We gotta react. Huh? Let's see if this thing still has some juice. Oh, you think we can bring it down? Oh, that wasn't good. Or was it? Maybe that's what we're meant to do. Let's get the other one. Huh. You're like a Disney character. Like from Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Tricky. What? What? No, words cannot describe what, what the hell's going on there. Ooh. Huh? I do not see down the corridor. Ooh, maybe I didn't want to see down the corridor anyway. Oh, this is totally going to have a big boss at the end of it. I don't, do we do we really want to go over there? Really, though? Oh, there's someone at the end there. Oh, yeah, this is good. This is, this is very good. Yeah, loving this. That guy is having a nap. That's what that is. My God. This one's not having a nap. Oh, he is having a nap, but it's a very different kind of nap, for sure. Um, I'm just gonna take this if you don't mind. You're not gonna come back into a zombie as well, are you? I kinda wanna I move his face. No, okay. <laughs> That's okay. Should we turn the volume up on this? The time is exactly 5.43 in the PM on October 20, 20 what's the date? The 26th, October 26th, 1947. This is the fifth day of observation on Mr. Mosby, who was found rambling in the hospital halls, claiming that he undergoes physical and psychological changes when the moon is full. Dr. Loomis can elaborate. Oh, the moon is full. Doctor, 
Thank you, Dr. West. He's a werewolf. The patient appears to be under severe duress at almost all times of the day and refuses to listen to reason. He continues to ramble about changing into another creature when the moon is full. Such wild statements would be normal for brain trauma victims, but Mr. Mosby appears to suffer no fractures of any kind on his skull. And all of his motor functions seem fine. Mm -hmm. There is the possibility of split personality syndrome, but he doesn't appear to show any symptoms that normally pertain to people with such illness. That would be Jekyll and Hyde. Which seems to stay consistent and coherent, oddly enough. And what do you recommend for next steps? Well, the proper thing for now is to keep him in a straitjacket and locked in his room. He should remain under observation for the next three weeks with an increased dosage of... Uh-oh. Uh, what, what happened? A power outage, I suppose? I suppose. Recording? That's strange. Yeah, it is. Oh, my God. oh no. Sam, what the hell is happening? I, I don't know. I don't know. He got through the vents. Uh, that took a turn for the worst. I thought it was just going to be a happy log. So I just thought during that, like, we have stories like Frankenstein and Dracula, and there's probably, like, werewolf tales around there and stuff, so... And this game is set in the 1940s, so I, I'm, I'm interested to know when those sorts of stories come out. Were they, did they exist before this? Things like Jekyll and Hyde? be quite interesting or whether they're just kind of discovering these creepy creatures now so this is what I meant about the clocks you know this one's kind of flying forwards as if time is almost either stuck in a weird loop or it's currently reversing at a very rapid rate who knows either way that looks like exactly what I need for the walls if you don't mind kind sir torn apart well, not too badly. He got a bit of a chunk missing on his face, for sure. You can see right down his jugular as well. <laughs> Jesus. Could right. come in handy. Could come in handy. You know exactly what it's going to come in handy for. Couldn't be easy, could it? That wasn't good. Oh. Oh, the door disappeared. I understand. Hope this thing moves. And Guardium Leviosa. Oh, we could probably like light the lights, right? We could definitely do something with these, for sure. Wilson, you wanna, you wanna get your heart out? Can't do much with this. Ah! Seems to be something here. Hush! What? Wilson, how are you not questioning this? You're, you're literally pushing a wall. What kind of surgery did you... What did you, like, sign up for? Was it really the Wilson's heart surgery? Or is that just kind of like what he decided to do once you added surgery? Oh well. All back to normal. Ooh, don't you dare come back! Get down there! Jesus, the teddy's not- he's Get not- Ah! Uh-oh! What are you doing here? Ow! Oh, I can punch him! Oh, get him! <laughs> Go, get out of here, Teddy! Hell That's yes! No way to treat a pal. Leave me alone! Have a heart, Wilson. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> That's just rude. I think you'll find our heart is about ten times better than yours ever will be. What happened over here? Poisons. Maybe we can poison the bear. Ha! I don't like that noise. Sounds like assassin bears probably coming back. Don't look up. Not looking up. Gonna look up. Here, I looked up. Get, away from get him me. off. Uh, can I get a bottle? Uh. Uh. <laughs> Damn. Uh. 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 <laughs> this is the most fun I've had in years. One moment, please. How oh, we poisoned him off? Get out of here. Oh yeah. Finish him Come off. On. I was kidding. I'm a kidder. Stop it. Ow. You're a monster. We locked him in. And we got rid of his claws. You're just a stupid teddy bear now. Wait. You're not done yet. How did you get your claws back as well? Must have dropped them in there. Oh, 
something with the lights. You little bastard. Oh, we can burn it. Whoa. Jesus. He'll be back. I'm sure he'll be back. Do we not get to read that other document now? That's unfortunate. Oh. Huh. Yeah, looks like we'll just have to carry on. Anyone else while we're here? Werewolves, teddy bears, giant chunguses. <laughs> chungus, I don't know what to call it. J Jekyll and Hyde, the big Hyde, the big boy. Oh. Good thing we picked up that crowbar. Uh, yeah. Get that side as well. Get these ones. Hook them off. Easy. Easy. Bingo. Oh, I threw it away, but I'm sure you'll figure it out. We live in a world of supernatural here. God damn. Are you also leaving? Oh. What's with the doors today? They hate me. We get somewhere to deal with this? Back through there. Okay. Mm, great. Spiders. Maybe I belong in here. Yeah, you know what? I think you might be right. Although. No. No. <laughs> no, don't like it. It's playing weird Coraline spider music and I don't like it. I don't like surprises. Oh, second key. I get it. Are you ready? Surprise! What's this? It looks like a nuclear deterrent button or, or just, a, just the nuclear launch button, I guess. What? Oh, so we can put the door to where we want it. So we're going to come out of that door. And we want to get into that door. This is the weirdest thing. I think it's going to be on one of these sides. Let's just give it a try. We can always flip it back the other way. Uh, maybe? Oh, there's a power box. Hey, comes in handy for multiple things. This time we're just gonna get rid of it that way. Finally. One way to break the power. Oh, do you think that device was doing all the door stuff? That'd be one hell of a Christmas present. So we've disconnected the power there. For some very unknown reasons. Oh, why are you constantly rotating? What is happening? I want to get to the to the power box. There. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. So now that we're over here, the Electro Lee air conditioning unit model blah 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 with the blah 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 blah. And there ain't nothing we can really do with it. Looks like we might need another tool or something for it later on. We'll try the other side then. I think that was the other side. Stop rotating! Oh, I get it. So if you turn it like that side, it will rotate twice. Once up and then once to the... Okay, I understand. Is that someone's hand there? Alright, let's have a look here. I don't even know what... Oh, that's the window. That makes sense. Yeah. So there's a second power box then here. Aha. Uh -huh. Needed the old double whack. I get it. Give him the Beat Saber skills out. That should do it. Still conscious of all these cobwebs. Okay, let's turn it upside down then. Maybe we can get to it now and do something. Oh yeah. Here we go. Just whap up the hood. Nice. Music got worse. Heart back, you bastards. Are we really just gonna do that? Alrighty. Uh. 
<laughs> what do they do down here? I'm not too sure, but with the with all of this, not good. Oh, we've closed the trap door. Okay, so we're actually on the ceiling. Gravity has changed. What a weird game. Giving something in or out. Don't say that. Robert, why why do you have the worst thoughts? We're leaving. It's a happy thought. It was keeping us out, and now we can get in. That's all you need to know. Why do we have the ability to close it instantly? That is good to know. But why? <laughs> but why? Hello. Time for my magic trick. Ah, we can fix those lights. Is this the light mode? It is. Good stuff. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine that hurts a lot when it goes back in. It's like, Whoa! I wouldn't like a heart to keep popping I out like that. To brush up on some of this. Did you just make a brush pun? Robert, is this, is this really the time? <laughs> Welcome to hand to hand combat. Number one, block incoming attacks with your hands up. Oh, really? Is it about? To, oh my God, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to use this. We're gonna have to do it. We're gonna have to do hand-to-hand -hand combat. I'm not ready. Block incoming attacks with your hands up. After successfully blocking an enemy, attack immediately. Counter attack by punching. Yeah. Punch at the enemy's face. Yeah, that's a good move. Punch at the enemy's midsection, hitting harder will dispatch enemies quicker. Attacking an enemy without waiting for an opening will result in you missing. Okay. And you can't miss. Watch out for enemies that attack from a distance. Use your superior thinking skills to outsmart them. We could probably use a heart to maybe knock them, or just dodge. Either one works. Alright. Let's see if we put this into practice. Oh god, I'm not ready. Yeah, we knew it. Whoa! Ow! What is that? Did you steal my heart? I need that. God damn, look how cool this guy is. Put him up. Let's go. Block. Apparently that wasn't a block. Killed enough for you bastards. So we do the block and then we can counterattack. Got him. In the gut. Just the face. Just the face. I get it. This is an actual Nazi zombie, probably. If it was just after the war. That's so cool! I'm just admiring the view! Oh, right, a smacker right in the face. God, we broke his arm. Come on! Yeah, he's running scared now. He's gonna try some projectiles. We have to be careful here. Grenade! Take it back! That was quite close. We'll get you next time. Come here. I like the way he tries the tactic twice. You think we're gonna catch it the second time? Oh my god, that was... That was awful. My bad. Something bad's happening. Maybe we're breaking the place by just catching these grenades. You didn't try it a third time, did you? Oh yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> it's gone for a wider view. You gonna go for the double grenade tactic? Just a single. I like it. Testing my aim. <laughs> did you see the way he looked at it? He was like, oh my god. One more time, you bastard. Let's go. Creepy sneak in. Block! Counter attack! Bang in the face, in the face, the jabs, and the side hooks, and the left, right. Oh, I didn't even get to do an uppercut. You better come back. <laughs> it looks like Scarecrow from Batman, but like not at all. Oh. This is fantastic! What are we trying now? Another grenade trick? You think that works? Uh. Yeah! Okay. Oh, my bad. This place really doesn't like being blown up. Four! Uh. Wow, that actually worked. Cricket skills coming in handy. Come on. Uh. Yeah! I love the way we, even Wilson puts all of his might into the throw. He's like, Aah! but it just like it's like throwing a shot put at this rate. Oh my goodness! I mean, that's close enough. Sure. 
Okay, okay, Robert, now you're starting to look a bit lame. You're gonna have to hit this one or everyone's gonna be a bit fed up with you. Nice! Oh! <gasps> Grab him quick! Grab him! Get the pin! Get the pin! Get the pin! Get the pin! Ah! Push him away, push him away. Go away, go away, that's it. That way, off you go. Off you pop. Bye bye! Stay dead this time. <laughs> oh, that was great! Look at us, with the hand-to-hand -hand combat. Don't mind if I do. Then not something new? Oh my god, this one's got a gun. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, yes, close the door. I like that. He's coming. Oh, we had a bayonet. Make him like they used to. <laughs> uh, he's still alive, Wilson. Would you like it if I raised the gate for you? Do you want to come out? Say hello? Easy does it. Oh, <laughs> you're off on a ride. Up and down the zombie goes. Oops, I let go. How can we not wind him back down again? Oh, that's a shame. Up you go. Bye bye. Alright, we're just gonna go now. You enjoy your time up there. Say hello to your friend for me. What did we learn there? What did we learn? We learned nothing, apart from how to fight, I guess. That was useful. What is this? This almost looks like it's interactable. Didn't see that coming. No. How strange. What's over here? Must be some kind of art therapy. You don't suppose the teddy's coming back, do you? That would be bad. All right, well, it's a bit of a cheesy ending, but at least for today, thank you very much for watching. If you watch this video and you happen to like the series and you want to go back and watch some of the other episodes, then there'll be a link down in the description where you can go and watch the full gameplay series. Alternatively, if you want to buy this game for yourself, there'll also be a link to the game where you can go and buy it on the Oculus Store. It's exclusively for the Oculus Rift S headset, but you can also get it for the Quest by the Link cable. So, other than that, thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully the stabilization played out this time. If it did, then big hurrah for me, and we can hopefully carry on with the rest of the series with nice, smooth, stable footage into the sunset. Sounds great to me. Good. Right, well, I guess until the next time. Goodbye! <laughs>